Hello gamers, welcome to another Elite Gamer Review. Today I'll be doing a review for Viking, ba Viking Battle for Asgard for the PS3. The plot of the game is quite simple to follow, if you're the sort of hack and slash type. But if you see my review on Golden Axe, yeah. Anyway, the plot of the game is quite simple. Very simple. Your main character is... You play a Viking called Skyrim. A man who was killed in a battle. Who is then resurrected by... By one of the, one of the Viking and Norse goddesses to help have and the rest of them the Vikings fight for their people against the evil forces of hell yeah I'm not even joking you fight hell's forces from the word go and they won't let up to tell every one of your men are dead but obviously you're here to not let that happen Now basically there's a lot of strategy involved along as far as where fighting goes. In the words of Sir Alec Guinness, God bless him, God bless his soul, there are alternatives to fighting. And that, that concept does actually end up becoming true. Because there's a bit of the, in a fair bit of the game, I mean there's a lot you can go around, you can you can talk to people, there's bits in the game when you have to sneak around when you have to sneak around certain outposts in the game to infiltrate an enemy base and either kill one of the leaders of the party or just get around them but combat's quite fun when an enemy comes near you Skyrim would take out his weapons automatically. X to hit if squares the heavy button. Look if if you hit them at the right time, some other time, wait for the icon to come up and you'll initiate a devastating kill attack which will be so lethal it will virtually is eviscerate the enemy right before your very eyes. Block with the L uh, L2 button. And here we go, eviscerate. Ouch. That's going to sting tomorrow. I bet you won't be getting those back in the afterlife. So the another person said, you always know if an enemy is near you because he'll always take his weapons out automatically. Off with your head. The, the X always indicates that you're not far from your, where you're to go. As I say, these, the enemies I'm fighting now are virtually a piece of cake compared with the enemies you have to fight later on. The maidstones allow you to use Asgard's magic to visit places you've been before. Mm. Yeah, the, the laystones, which you can use to like get to places later on very, really, really quickly. Well, less than a nanosecond. But yeah, as I was saying, back to the get fighting. The enemies I'm fighting now are virtually a piece of cake compared with the ones you fight mm -hmm. later on. Some which aim as many as two to three at combos. Sometimes you can do like still fits like that. Sometimes you can fight a multitude of enemies like now, which makes it hard. Yep, she's right. Hungry bellies don't make for good warriors. 
The only other thing I like about that heavy attack is that it's a lot faster when you're fighting multiple opposition, which I suppose it'd have to be. If it was any slower, you'd be hit by every weapon going. And, you know, it'd just be a repeat of the front page. You'd die within a couple of hits. But quite unanimous, unless I'm very much mistaken, this game was actually virtually assisted on its merry way in production from the same people who actually were, were responsible for the creation of the game um, Spartan to, to Warrior for PS PlayStation 2 and uh, the GameCube unless I'm very much mistaken obviously as I said this game's got a lot going for it, a lot of replay value to do a lot more to see if you can do all the quests kill all the, kill all the warriors free all your people and the battles are extremely huge when they get going which are probably the greatest anti-climax of the whole game for every man you free you for every moment remember your men you free you're one step closer to building up your army for the, next, for the actual great battle for every great battle you win, you take a say, I don't know, an additional third or more of the, of the, the, of the enemy territory, then virtually claiming your territory back.